He had a box of Colonel Sanders on his dashboard. When he was eating fried chicken and a thorn of the bones on me. Your chicken truck, chicken truck, behind it I'm stuck. Chicken truck, chicken truck, just my luck. Chicken truck on Highway 65. A little bit different music for you this morning on uh, the morning show for our chicken segment. Usually it's asleep at the wheel, but this was uh, John Anderson. I thought I would try to find something else with a little That's bit fun. of chicken theme to it. So you should do that. You should like find a bunch of chicken songs. I will do that. That's, it's, that's just a great idea. I don't come up with many, but it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, okay, I went outside and decided uh, the first pen that I opened up, I decided to take out one of my, uh, my one of my named yes birds. he named this I one. named this one uh, and this particular one this is, say good morning to yeti <laughs> yeti is here in the studios with us good to have you yeti how are you <laughs> just kind of yeah, no. mm-hmm. um okay so yeti is a, a silky frizzle mix um he uh I'm trying to think of his parentage I'm like okay mm, let's see. He is, uh, I don't know. I can't, <laughs> I don't know. But he's just, he's just I a, can't fur, remember. a furry chicken. So he has some silky in him. I'm trying to think of who his parents would be. And I can't think of, I've got to think of who I had at the time. But anyway, um, so he is, uh, he has a brother named Orange Juice. <laughs> who is, uh, and then he has another bra- brother named Banana. Banana looks exactly like him. Um, that it, but he's, uh, not frizzled. So, uh, I'm, it's, I'm like obsessed with the, you know, like the collar. Yes. When we get to the collar. But that's okay. We're good. So, t- uh, so t- he is part of our, uh, if any of you remember my, uh, uh, cookie monster cookie cookies coop. Yes. And, uh, can't so hear. Do what? Make it, they say they can't hear anything. What? Oh, you don't have the okay. I don't know. Let's see here. And let me. Right in over here. And I'm, it up. I should. Should be. Let's try this one here. Sorry. Should be good to go. Okay. Can, can, can you hear anything? Let me let me know if y'all can hear it on uh, on Facebook on Facebook Live. Let's make sure that it's. You know, it's radio, so if not, I'll just take the uh, other thing off. It's no no big deal. Okay, so, yeah, so let us know. Can you hear now? I can, can hear it. Can you hear it? Now? Can you can hear hear it? Now? Okay, she can she hear can't it. hear it now. The, the okay, good. Alyssa Bend. All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll go back, and uh, uh, this is Yeti, um, and he is um, a silky frizzle mix. I'm thinking his mother, I'm trying to think, who did I have at the time? I had a... I don't know. Anyway, so uh, he's a real sweet boy, and he's in a, a coop that is really not um, – I have four boys and four girls in the coop, and that's not really how you're supposed to do it. But all these four boys all get along great. So it's like my two cookie monsters and then this one and um, – what's the other one? Hatter. Yeah. Hatter is uh, is like this. Looks like this, but is multicolored. Um, Beautiful. Red and Beautiful blue birds. and white. And, and uh, first of all, so. real quick, Shannon, th- uh, thanks for everybody that is watching this morning. Uh, and 
that you did respond to my can you hear me now <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh it's it's great to have you all on megan megan's on uh jeffrey johnson anthony rodriguez taryn zeck i need some egg cartons Morning, here. Mr. Taryn. Yeah, bruce needs egg cartons. i need those egg cartons uh janice uh hennefeld is uh listening probably from the coast today uh colleen collins more hey oh. uh <laughs> former trombonist uh, extraordinaire from, from high school. From high school. Uh, Alyssa uh, Bandelman's watching. Good morning, Miss Alyssa. And let's see anybody else here that I don't want to miss. Anybody? How's uh, your quail doing, lady? Rick Blevins. So we, so, so, uh, we uh, Alyssa, we have been getting, um, um, we have been getting some double yokers from your girls since oh we got gosh. from you. They're huge. Oh my goodness gracious, they're huge. But look at this tail. Look at this tail. Isn't that crazy? He's okay, so you when you look at this bird, you think, okay, well he doesn't he probably doesn't feel as he's pro now remember the more you I know I'm the more sorry. you uh, know. move I'm that, the sorry. less it focuses. The uh you probably would think, you know, but his feathers and stuff, they probably aren't that soft. Yes, they are. They're like silk. Um, and then that's the thing that, you know, when you, the only feathers on him that are, um, that are stiff are these wing feathers and not all of them are stiff. So like the, uh, uh, let me see if I can open one of his wing feathers. They're not used to me doing that kind of stuff, but, um, you can kind of see, I don't, I hope you can see, um, the wing feathers are, see these ones that are just sticks. That's because they've been there for a little while. And, um, so like eventually all of these will turn into sticks and then his tail will be like, you know, he'll, they'll start to molt. And so all of a sudden a lot of the feathers will start to go and, uh, they'll go through their molting process and then they will all of a sudden produce all fresh feathers and be absolutely fresh and beautiful. Um, and they Tell molt now <laughs> and thank you. And they, uh, a lot of birds molt once a year. Um, I guess roosters don't necessarily have to because they're not as, as groomed as, uh, they're not as groomed. There's not, they're not as mated as the, the hens are. The hens tend to look a little bit rough faster where the boys don't. And, um, I'm not sure if, uh, if Yeti has molted. Isn't he a cutie? Look at that comb. His comb is, uh, looks kind of like Ruru's comb. So he could be a Ruru baby. Yeah. Um, and I'm thinking Ruru plus maybe... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I had Megan's buff at the time, but that would that would be a perfect. He has silky feet. They're dirty. Dad didn't wash them before he put him on my lap, so I had to use his blanket here. I always wash their feet before they come in. But this is a silky foot. It has extra toes. This is his spur right here, and it doesn't need to be removed um, right now because it's not getting in his way, and he's not using it to hurt us. So, but they do have giant, giant feet. Silkies do because they have those extra toes, and then all of these feathers around the feet are like little sticks. So when they break off, they bleed, um, and they call them blood feathers because of that. And um, so you have to uh, you have to literally pull them out. If they do that because, uh, or hope they stop bleeding. But, uh, so you'll, sometimes you'll see like blood all over the place and it's just because one of the blood feathers broke. Um, but he's a, he's a sweetheart, really beautiful bird. Um, let me turn him around. So like this collar, this collar is, it's just like, and they love when I do this. It's kind of like, it's, yeah, I like it's, when you roost, do that. it's rooster massage here, you know, but this collar, look at, these feathers they're just it's just like that's pretty uh, awesome i i mean i'm, I'm, I'm i could sit here i could just watch tv and sit here with one of these roosters and then maybe i I'd love have my to frizzles exchange, i have to change spots with them oh my god i love my frizzle boys and i have a lot of them i mean i have probably a good 40 40 roosters and um most of them are frizzle boys i love my frizzle boys and i've got some um I don't know. I just have a lot. I have that, I have that one that's solid blue and, but they are these, 
these guys are just absolutely, it's just like. Oh my gosh. Absolute. That's crazy. Soft, silky fluff. And like I said, none of these feathers are stiff like a bird feathers except for the wing feathers. And the rest of this is all just, just fluff and soft and just. Yeah, that's. Yeah, we love our birds. I love frizzles. We love our birds. That's why we give them a, a part on the show on Fridays. <laughs> uh, you know, we were also talking about. Let me. I'm gonna see if I can turn this around. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, we let's give it a. There we are. Ah, hello. Bing's uh, right yesterday there. at uh, our my networking meeting. Do you want to bring your mic down? <laughs> Uh, at our <coughs> springs make so much noise. I know they do. At my networking meeting, I had uh, I did a little show and tell, and I did some some quail eggs, and I thought this was pretty cool. This is pretty cool here. So, just real quick, we have. There we go. Are you still in there? Good. Yeah. Uh, when when they first lay an egg. This is kind of a, a newbie egg right here. This is an egg from a, a quail. Yeah, probably that, the size uh, of a nickel. Probably the size of a nickel, right. Yeah. So that's uh, that's one there. And then your average size quail egg is something like this one here. It's about the it's size about of a quarter. About the size of a quarter. Yeah. Okay. So that's what you see right there. And then... And then you get these double yokers because Alyssa sells you a double yoker bird. Goodness, my gosh. <laughs> Look at that sucker. This is, like 20, this is our heaviest one. It's the heaviest one I've seen so far. It's like 24 grams. Oh, that's the heaviest one? That's I thought the, the other one yeah, was. This is, this is so the we've gotten one. like um, three giant double yoker quail Let's eggs. And the thing about a, a quail egg is, I mean... The quail is just this little bird, and for that to come out, it's booty. That's ow. <laughs> so here's ow. Here's this one compared to that one. So that's uh, that's regular a, and re, double yolk. Regular and double yolk, and of course, then you compare your your littlest one here to it too. So that's uh, looks like one of those little. Chachki yeah, dolls. Yeah, the little, little starter. This is the little starter pack this is your right starter here. Starter pack here, and then here's your other. But this is uh, these are kind of cool. I've got three of these. Yeah, he wants to like <coughs> he wants to like poke a hole, and blow poke it a out hole, and, and blow it out, and then just just to, just to have it, and then yeah. But there, I don't anyway. know if they work as well with poking hole because like the the quail. Um, oh look, you have a Walmart RX reminder. <laughs> yeah, right. Telling me my stuff is ready. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm tripping over. Okay, so the uh, the uh, the interesting thing about the quail eggs is that they you can't you can't crack a quail egg like an like a, a an egg. No, you you te you you uh, you know like take it and you you crack it on the side of something, and then you have to pop it like a duck egg. Yeah, and so we have quail scissors which. Are right here. Look at there. Just happen to have some handy. I know. Isn't that crazy? I know. So, like, whenever we have a quail customer, uh, a quail egg customer, we um, give them the option of, of purchasing uh, a pair of scissors. Purchasing a pair of scissors, but the the uh, we have these quail scissors. So, uh, which initially we didn't <laughs> knew, I didn't really know what they were uh, when I saw them for the first time. So, can you tell what? Can you tell with the camera? So they you put the quail egg. Hand me a quail egg. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna no, do it, okay. or right. I, I could do it. No, that's all right. Okay. No, that's all right. No, no. <laughs> so you put your quail egg. I probably need to do it this way. So you put your quail egg here, like that, and you want me to do it? Uh, yeah, is this one of your hatchers, no, or is this not, not a hatcher? It's okay. The, uh, okay. So, uh, so you put your quail egg like that, and then this this little scissor goes ahead and it cuts into the top. And it cuts the top off. Just like that. And there you go. And there it is. Is not is that not the coolest thing? Do you have anything for me to dump this thing onto? No, just shoot it. No, I'm not eating a raw egg. Funny thing about quail eggs is they're better for you than chicken eggs. Oh, Do you want it? He's Here you can have he's some. Upset now because you want? We... Wow, that is like picture perfect. Look at that. Yes. Here I'll put it in my hand, but then I'm gonna have to really clean up my hand. Okay, so the thing about a quail egg is that it has the right fat as a, uh, you know, like a duck egg has um, 
And look at that. Look at look at that. Look at that little look at bowl. That. Look how perfect that little thing is. Oh, sorry. No, I didn't see it. Sorry. Okay, sorry. It's like a perfect look little bowl. Look at that. Coscaroni's mini. <laughs> seriously. That is seriously. And a lot of people do that. Yes, they do. So uh, the thing about a, a quail egg, do you want this? No? Do you have to poop? Because you can get down if you want to poop. Jump down. Jump down. Okay, there we go. The thing about a quail egg, oh, I'll just use this, is that it has the right uh, kind of fat in it. Um, you know, it has the better fat. Um, where a chicken egg is high in one kind of fat and like a duck egg is high in like the good fats. Um, the thing about a quail egg is it tastes like a chicken egg, exactly like a chicken egg, but it has the right fat. It has the 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 correct. It has. I'm sorry. It has the uh, the better fat for you. And um, not only that, but the yolk um, to white ratio is uh, better. So like the yolk is huge. I mean, it's like half the egg, and then the uh, the white is less. So it's yes. it's got a higher uh, yolk to to white ratio. And so, um, you know, it probably takes about three of these to make the size of one regular think, size about, hen yeah. egg. And then, like, if you're going up in sizes, you know, a duck egg now is going to be pretty huge. And a goose egg, of course, is huger. Um, we love our duck eggs. So, like, whenever I cook eggs, I have to have at least one duck egg and then, like, three chicken eggs. Yeah, and know. we have a lot of bantams. Um, and bantam eggs are smaller. Uh, but again, have a higher uh, uh, egg yolk uh, ratio to uh, egg white. Um, and uh, sometimes the bantam eggs have a, a yellower yolk to them. Um, but it's just, you know, depending on the bird and what it yeah. eats and stuff too. So, so well, there you go, quail sweet. egg. That is awesome. Quail eggs for breakfast. And I have to wash my hands You now. certainly do. That'll be a great... Yeti, come eat the egg. He's like looking at your Christmas Yeti, where are you, buddy? He's... He's looking at your Christmas tree and stuff. Oh, hey, buddy. What you doing? <laughs> He's so cute. Just, you I'm never, surprised he hasn't crushed Yeah, you him. never know what's going to happen in the, in the studio. So, uh, th hey, thanks, Shannon, for uh, You're taking the reins on that one. I picked it, but, I, you know, I just you just know more about a lot of their a lot of the details than I do. Yeah. And uh, and I know his parentage. It's just I can't remember who I had at the time. So Yeah. Well, I want to say uh, hi to a few folks that joined us in late. <laughs> Brad Arnold, uh, aren't you supposed to be teaching something? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Brad. Uh, oh, I just took a fresh poop. Brad is uh, Brad's a good guy. I like Brad. I like uh, playing on Sunday mornings or, yeah, with uh, with Brad too when he's over in the yeah. Pit there. Uh, Brad cool. is a, a, a drum teacher. A percussion teacher at uh, Canyon High, High School. School, and uh, he was a percussion teacher at uh, New Braunfels High School, and he did percussion. <laughs> there, there you go. go. <laughs> he did. Uh, yeah. He taught percussion to our son Justin, um, and then he taught percussion to Alex. our son Alex, who is real shy. So he was really good with Alex. And uh, Harley really Hanks good. watching this morning. Thanks for uh, morning, Mr. Hank. For that, this, you know, I, I, hey Hank, I need to get up to. Uh, to, to, to Alamo's, uh, <laughs> I, I won't bring one with me, but I need to come by and uh, see you guys. Maybe we can do a Facebook Live and uh, do that uh, electric Harley at some point. Electric Harley. Yeah, electric they have Harley. an electric Harley. Yeah, Harley. electric Harley. Oh, my gosh. Maybe, maybe, I, can, maybe I can barter for a, some cool Harley swag or something. You're right. You're you never right. Know. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Terrence so said she like loved the, 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 like the quail eggs. Oh, she did. Did she, she, said, she do that? She just wants some more. Did she do the? Uh, did she pickle them? Because she was going to pickle them, oh, yeah. right? Did you pickle them? You just have to let us know. Yeah. Uh, what were you going to say? But Hank, what? Oh, I was going to say. I wonder if the if the electric Harley is as loud as a, a regular Harley. Do they put like know. fake noise to it. I don't know. Hey, yeah, does have like pre recorded? Like pre recorded, like one of you know, like yeah, the little yeah, kid yeah, buttons yeah. that go. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> maybe, maybe so. Hank, you have to let me know, man. I'll take a trip over there to you. Uh, we want to thank you guys for watching this morning. Did you go find? Uh, oh, I'll find him in a minute. I'll find him in a minute. Yeti, right. there he comes. There Your he trash comes. can's all like full. Uh, Shannon and I want to thank you for watching Facebook Live this morning with uh, the crew here on Texas 46 Radio. And, oh my gosh, I don't know whether the eggs. See, I should just, now, I like should just pressure. do the. Oh <laughs> God! Really? Yay! Oh, I got the eggs. <laughs> Yeah, that looks for good. Uh, for good doesn't it? There I'm 
sorry I had to do it. He was right. He was right there. I was right here, ready to go. <laughs> so if that's if that's not good enough for you to end the show with, you're not gonna be on the most amount of water. Like egg in the face. He was not expecting that. That what was not that planned. Smell? What is that smell? Is that the he egg? could do that. <laughs> no, that's probably the poop over there. Or you want that, the? Or is that the, the Yeti moves. There it is. Oh, there it is. Fresh. Hey. Hey. You can put this. You can put this on like your nose. <laughs> this, is, this is quality radio. Guys. This is what. If you're not with FM, this is what it has turned out to, and it's entertaining. So, like on the radio, if you're listening to the radio and you're not, <laughs> and you're not uh, watching our Facebook Live, uh, I just slap that egg right on his forehead. <laughs> oh, uh, we're out of here, man. <laughs> we, we got to go watch. Hey, we're our uh, hands. this is uh, Facebook Live today. <laughs> Chicken of the week is brought to you by the fine folks at Dubrovnik Speed, Speed Supply, right on Loop 337. Now remember, we told you all the 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 uh, Dubrovnik Speed. They've got chicks there right now. They got a fresh batch. Should have gotten a fresh batch yesterday. So if you want to know what they got, go on to Dubrovnik Speed um, website. <laughs> There you go. And look at their calendar, and they're going to have a list of all of the birds, that the chicks that they've got there. Um, if there's a specific one that you are going to go there to get, like let's say you want to go there to get a Cochin or a Wyandotte, if they didn't get that one in, you can call in advance to make sure that they got the bird in, that the, the type of breed in that you uh that you wanted the hand, and I gave you the phone number earlier. So, but you can get it on the website. And so, uh, New Braunfels feed is on. Loop 337. <laughs> Loop 337. Mm-hmm. And it's the most, it's the coolest place to walk through. So, you know, you need to just, I mean, it's like going through Bucky's, but with animals. So, Shannon, you ask, you ask how I like my eggs. I usually don't, they're not, I don't like them when they're running. <laughs> and they're not running. <laughs> slight running. Uh, now, if I get some mayonnaise with that, that would be great. All right, all right, we're out of here. We'll get Bye, this guys. Music going. And thanks for watching. Bye.